Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Before we get started, I just wanna clear up one quick thing. Uh, the vehicle that we got to see today, the Hummer EV, was a pre-production prototype meant to represent what GM is going to be producing uh, in 2022. So it was uh, not driving when we were there. We did not get to see any of the cool like uh, crab mode or Watts to Freedom, but we did get to get see where GM is going to take the Hummer brand and we're really excited to share it with you. So here we go. Today we've got an incredible vehicle to share with you and that's the Hummer EV. Oh man. I got a call from GM just a couple hours ago saying, hey, we've got this here in South San Francisco if you wanna come check it out. And I said, absolutely. So those of you who haven't heard already, this is the new Hummer EV coming out in 2022. This is one of their first, if not the first vehicle that they have to represent it. Going around, it, it, it just looks like a Hummer. It's nothing like what you'd expect from a Tesla or other electric vehicles. You know, There's not really that many smooth lines here. It looks like a rugged off-road vehicle. And you can really tell that it is an off-road vehicle, starting with those 35 inch rims. As you progress further and get in the vehicle, You've got a nice step in here, nice handle here. Everything about this car just feels more rugged. Um, at, at this point, this is a pre-production vehicle, so nothing, you know, as far as the buttons are currently working. But looking around, this feels like a traditional, you know, Hummer GM vehicle. This feels like it should, and it's got 350 miles of range. It's it's an impressive beast to be in. It's got three windshield wipers. It's got Super Cruise. I'm very impressed. And then some of the newer features. It's got these removable, the four glass roof panels that they call their infinity roof. They've got little references here and a couple around the vehicle, references to the moon landing. If you look here, you've got Neil Armstrong's footprint. And then as we get out of the vehicle, you can really tell that GM thought about this from the ground up. And part of that, you know, stems from some new features that I've never seen before including this like rear little storage compartment. Great for storing like a first aid kit, um, you know, a tow latch, anything like that. Finally, as we continue around the vehicle, you'll find obviously the charge port. This is a pretty standard charge port, but it is capable of the high voltage charging 350 kilowatts. And then finally, obviously this is a pickup truck, pretty exciting. We can get into the bed here, just drop it down. It has an adjustable additional drop. So you can use this as a seat. You can get some speakers here. And then you can even use it as a step. Now this is a five foot bed and with the multi-pro lift gate, it can be up to seven feet. It's really impressive. This car, you know, it really blows me away how much GMC has really thought about the use of this vehicle. So I'm really impressed. I'm excited to see what this car looks like in two years when they're totally you know, out on the road. It's an $80,000 uh, you know, super truck. Uh, excited to see it out there. Let me know what your th thoughts are on this vehicle in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.